Good morning, Zoomers. All right, day four, our last day this week to be talking, drawing, and writing about the flamingo. You have been doing such nice work, and I'm so excited to see your final animal report. Here's what we're going to do. You should have done all of these pages, and you should only have one page left in your animal report. One page. Okay, here we go. This is the page where you're going to write your actual animal report and those two facts that we talked about on Monday that we are looking for. So follow these directions very carefully. Take your time and do the nicest, neatest work you can do. At the top, you're going to write your name. In this box, you're going to draw everything you know about the flamingo. You're going to draw the flamingo's body, use the correct colors. You're going to draw them in their habitat. Think about their surroundings, their natural surroundings. Maybe you could draw them with some food that they would eat. Remember we talked about the diet of a flamingo. So if you're going to be drawing maybe some water, draw the flamingo's body. If they eat fish, maybe draw some fish. If they eat plants, maybe draw some plants. Draw them in their natural habitat. And then you're going to think about two facts and write those in complete sentences down here at the bottom. You have one, two, three, four lines to use. We love to see you use as many lines as possible with as much detail as possible. So I want you to think about a flamingo is, a flamingo can. I want you to think about two fun facts about a flamingo and you're going to sound out your words all by yourself. Don't ask a grown up for help. Try your best all by yourself. If I think about looking back at my previous pages, <gasps> the habitat, I might write a fact about a flamingo's habitat. Maybe if they live in water, I could say a flamingo lives in water. I'm going to think about the diet. Maybe if they eat fish, I could say a flamingo eats fish. I'm also going to think about that work I did on the very first day where I drew and labeled the flamingo. A flamingo has feathers. Think about two facts, at least two facts, and write them on your final page. If you want to really push yourself and challenge your brain, you could write four facts, one fact on each line. Take your time. Complete sentences means uppercase at the beginning, space fingers in between your words, sounding your words out all by yourself, and a period at the end of your sentence. Try your best. Take your time and make sure no matter what, you send a picture to your teacher on Seesaw. Great job on animal reports this week, friends. I can't wait to tell you about our animal for next week. See you later.